New concerns surrounding pets sold at a popular marketplace in Oklahoma City. We've learned many of the animals being purchased at Old Paris Flea Market are getting sick or dying within days. Their ailments costing their owners hundreds of dollars for treatment, not to mention the pain and suffering. And as News 4's Kaylee Olivas discovered, this is not a new problem. A News 4 viewer first alerting us to the conditions of animals sold at Old Paris Flea Market. And when we logged on to group chats on Facebook, we were flooded with comments from more than 300 people talking about their own experience. As soon as I got the puppy, I realized uh, she was very lethargic, uh, wasn't very active, wasn't really even drinking water, and it was a fairly warm day. So uh, I knew something was wrong, so I, I gave her a couple of days, saw she wasn't improving. So. Travis rushed his puppy to the nearest vet only to learn the dog had contracted parvo just days after bringing her home last July. I was fully expecting that if she wasn't able to pull through, then then I, I could lose uh, the dog. So I, I worked intensively. Um, I stayed up with her basically 48 hours, gave her uh, injections, I gave her intravenous. The puppy originally cost Travis $100, and the trip to the vet? hundreds more. A lot of my time was spent, uh, so I was not able to go to work to take care of her. I had to uh, forego some uh, work activities. So uh, it was you know, cumulatively it probably cost me another couple of thousand dollars just in, in potential income. Tilly survived the ordeal, but for other pet owners, it wasn't a happy ending. Kayla Sawyer also bought a puppy from Old Paris Flea Market. He had some major fleas um, and it had led to stomach worms. Um, and he also got kennel cough, which is pretty severe in puppies his age. Kayla's new best friend was on the brink of dying. It was really hard, um, especially when he got kennel cough. I stayed up with him all night long, every night for weeks, just because he sounded like he couldn't breathe. It was scary at some points, you know. Um, but I'd sit there and hold him and it was it was heartbreaking, you know, to see him go through something so difficult. Local veterinarians have seen some of the cases over the years. In the last year, probably about 200. 200 animals whose owners say were purchased at Old Paris. The virus is in the ground, they walk on it, then they'll lick their paws and they'll get the virus that way. And usually you can see it four to seven days. We went to Old Paris Flea Market to see firsthand the conditions of the animals being sold here. We found dogs crammed in cages, heat exhausted, and sitting in their own urine. As of June 18th, the market's property manager said they do not vet their outdoor sellers before leasing a spot. Only an ID and form of payment is required. No license to sell or proof of vaccination. But in a statement sent to News 4 from the city of Oklahoma City, they tell us in part there is a license required, outdoor seller's permit for anyone selling pets while they are outside of the flea market setting. If they are inside a flea market, there wouldn't be a license required. As of June 21st, the market claims to now require such permits. Oklahoma City Animal Welfare has inspected the flea market several times. Their most recent visit on June 18th, where the report states, quote, all animals appear to be in good health. In a statement sent from the Old Paris Flea Market referencing those visits, they say, Old Paris Flea Market has never been cited or ticketed for any violation of the law or regulation pertaining to a tenant sale of pets by either the state of Oklahoma or the city of Oklahoma City. But Animal Welfare Supervisor John Gary tells News 4 since receiving more information, they plan to have their lead cruelty investigator out this weekend. That was News Force Kaylee Olivas reporting animal welfare cannot write citations for those who don't have outdoor seller's permits. That duty falls under the city's code inspectors. We're told several city departments will meet June 27th to decide how to handle the concerns surrounding the old Paris flea market.